Low light performance was traditionally the very weak point of drones, due mostly to the tiny sensors. Until a couple of years ago the results were, frankly, embarrassing, with huge amount of noise everywhere. Things have improved a lot with the last generation of DJI models, especially with the Mavic 3 and 3 Classic, with their larger 4 third of an inch sensor, and with the Mini 3 Pro, thanks to its very wide aperture of f1.7. The Mavic 3 Classic has new functionalities for improving low light performance, the new night mode and the ability to shoot at a higher ISO value in the 2-10 bit mode, D-Log and HLG. These features have been added to the Mavic 3 via firmware update, so the two models are now practically identical, the only difference being the telephoto lens. You will find an unexpected surprise toward the end. As you can see, the quality of low light footage with the Mavic 3 in normal mode was already excellent, with maybe just a bit of luminous noise. In the log, there was, in my opinion, more room for improvement. In this video, we will see if we can get noticeable improvements using the new features. I constantly see tests of low light performance with footage shot at night in some big cities with huge amounts of artificial light. Even though the images are often very interesting, I would not consider them a good test for the low light capabilities of a camera. These are not low light situations at all, actually there's even too much light and the challenge is to avoid overexposing the highlights. The shadows will always be completely black, regardless of the ability of the sensor. To test the ability of a camera in low light, I prefer to shoot about an hour after sunset, with the last bit of twilight. I choose a scene with a limited amount of artificial lights and plenty of unlit areas with vegetation, the sea or the sky. Under these circumstances there will be different degrees of dark areas and it will be possible to test the ability to reproduce them properly and to recover the shadows. The whole process of a sunset here in Sicily is much faster compared to areas farther up north, therefore the intensity of the lights decreases in a matter of a few minutes. To get the same light condition for this test, I shot the footage in the same location, on different days, but at exactly the same time, between 5 and 5.15 pm. In normal mode, at ISO 800, the footage looks extremely good. There is plenty of detail in the shadows, the colors are very rich and pleasant, and there is not a hint of noise. It looks almost like daylight in cloudy condition, but believe me, it was very, very dark. Here they're trying to cut energy bills as much as possible, so if the artificial light is on, it must be really pitch dark. A few minutes later I increase ISO to 1600 and there is no degradation in the footage. The detail and the colors are still excellent and again hardly any noise at all, just the first hint, but very hard to notice it. At ISO 3200 we start to see a very slight loss of quality. The detail is not as rich as before, although still more than acceptable. The same goes for the colors. We start to see the first hint of noise, but it is still very well controlled. I would probably prefer to use ISO up to 1600, but if needed 3200 is still very usable. At ISO 6400 there is no degradation at all compared to 3200, the footage is still excellent. Comparing it to other footage taken a few months before, I have the impression that the quality of normal mode at high ISO has improved a lot. And this is not a surprise, as with every update of the Mavic 3, I have noticed increased quality, both for video and photos. Let's try now the new night mode, although it's not going to be easy to get 
further improvements over the excellent normal mode. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting, it really helps to spread it to more viewers. We access the new mode through the main photo video menu above the shutter. We notice that the image punches in, as there is a slightly tighter field of view. We get a message saying that obstacle avoidance is not available, but it is not a big deal, as in low light the sensors do not work anyway. This mode is available only at a resolution of 4K and a frame rate of 30 frames per second. The maximum ISO value is 12800 and there is some noise reduction automatically applied. The first thing I notice is that there is absolutely no noise whatsoever and this is remarkable at such a high ISO. But the detail in the shadows has completely gone, as we can clearly see in this face-to-face -face comparison. The noise reduction looks very aggressive and there is something fake in the buildings. They look a bit plasticky. In this clip the sea looks like a blob of blue without any waves or reflection from the sky. This night mode might be interesting for users who don't do any post-processing and need to use some night footage just out of the camera, maybe for social media. But frankly, I'm much more impressed by the improvements made in the standard normal mode, which looks absolutely excellent now, even with ISO values. After the noise in with neat video, I certainly prefer the results obtained with normal mode. Neat video is an excellent video denoiser, I will post a link at the end of this video and you will find information in the description below. Another new feature is the increased maximum ISO value for the two 10 bits mode, D-Log and HLG. Previously in these two modes the only ISO values available were 400 and 800, while now it is possible to push it to 1600. This is the log at ISO 800. Although I do like the log on most situations, I always find it a bit lacking in low light conditions. Compared to normal mode, there is certainly more noise, the colors are not as exciting, and there is less detail in the shadows. At ISO 1600 with the same light condition, I find that the log behaves a bit better. Although a good dose of the magic meat video is needed. But the best surprise comes with the 10 bit mode HLG. With Mavic 3, the wait for HLG has been very long, but after a truckload of updates, it finally appeared a short while ago and has been seriously improved with this one. At ISO 400 the footage shot in this mode is a joy to watch. The detail is mesmerizing, the colors are wonderful and the structure of the sky is simply magic. Noise is nowhere to be seen, the scene looks perfectly natural and organic. This is probably the best low light rendition I ever seen with any drone. Let me reiterate one more time that it was very dark, although it might not seem so, as the 4 third sensor is able to make the most of the tiniest amount of light. At ISO 800 the footage is still very good, but part of the magic has gone. There is some noise both in the sky and in the dark areas. The detail of the color have lost part of the magic powers. At ISO 1600 there is no real degradation compared to 800. My suggestion is to use HLG at ISO 400, which does a sensational job in most low light situations. If a higher ISO value should be needed, the choice is between normal and HLG, according to personal preference. Even though the new night mode failed to impress me, and it is probably still a work in progress. The quality of low light footage with the Mavic 3 and 3 Classic is now 
absolutely excellent. Click on this link to watch my analysis of NIT video, the best footage the noiser. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.